Welcome to the Kalispell Warhawk Dynasty, everybody. It's week 14, the final week of the regular season, which means it's senior day here in Kalispell as the number 22 ranked Warhawks hope to get one more victory that will ensure them a chance to play in the Mountain West Conference Championship. It's been a great year for Kalispell. They're 9-2 at this point and face 3-8 Hawaii today. There are the captains at midfield with Kelly John Charles standing across from Hunter Clayton. Both were high school teammates and have gone on to be defensive captains. It's a homecoming for Clayton and senior day for Kelly John Charles and many of his teammates here as the Warhawks look for win number 10. Let's play some football. Child sends it deep into the end zone it goes and Larson will take it out. Across the 15, breaks a tackle at the 20 and is stopped. Out comes this Kalispell defense with seniors Kelly John Charles, Jared Merritt, and Elgin McCormick as starters. We have motion on first down. Derek Thomas will keep it, and he's stuffed on the first play by Kelly John Charles. Hawaii's offense has not been very effective this year as Thomas tries to sweep again and gets into the secondary. He broke a tackle and got 16. The Rainbow Warrior offense has averaged only 22.9 points per game, second lowest in the conference. And again, they bring a receiver in motion, and Hughes is stopped. Do they change it up now? Second and 12, they will. Thomas back to pass, complete to Hughes, who comes back for the ball. Gives up some ground, but gets seven yards. Crowd getting into it now on third down. Warhawks blitz. Throw to the outside is complete. It's Hodges in Kalispell territory. It's a gain of 21. Evans up top for Kalispell. It's a draw. Riddick up the middle, and he's hit hard by Kelly John Charles. Gain of five. Again, third down. Thomas will look to keep it, and he's going nowhere. Nothing but blue jerseys in front. That's Anthony Owens on the stop. Hawaii in scoring range will settle for a field goal try, and this kick is through the uprights. 3-0, Rainbow Warriors. Now up we have the Kalispell offense, which has had one of its most exciting seasons in team history, with a lot of senior playmakers. Here's one of them. On the carry, it's Roscoe Sheridan to the outside as he picks up around four. Of course, there's also senior quarterback J.R. Battle back to pass and throws off the mark. I think that was for Hayden John Charles, but that throw really got away from him. Following the three and outs, quickly back to the Rainbow Warrior offense. Thomas lobbing deep and it's tipped away by Malcolm Tyson. Never saw it, but he was in perfect position. Third down now for the Rainbow Warriors. Thomas steps up, throws off balance and finds Lewis. Really good throw here for the lefty working up and to his right with Damian Whitmore just steps behind him. Again, they find themselves in Kalispell territory. It's the sweep to Reddick all the way outside. He stopped again in the open field, and that's John Charles. Riddick shaken up after that last hit, so Williams is now in the game. He dives up the middle. Phil Williams for about five. Third and short now for Hawaii as they bring more motion. Quick throw to Hodges will move the chains. Hawaii finding some early success against the very good Kalispell defense as they climb back into field goal range. Thomas now throwing away with pretty good coverage. Maybe feeling that pressure a little bit before it's there. Third and long now for the Warriors. Again, bringing the pressure. Deep throw from Thomas, and it's broken up by Malcolm Tyson. Again, step for step with the receiver. Another field goal try, this time from the right hash, and it sneaks inside the right upright. 6-0 Hawaii on top with a solid start. Now can Kalispell give the defense some rest? First and 10, Battle steps up in the pocket. He looks to run with it. A move from Battle as he picks up the first. We don't see that very often. Kalispell has four visiting prospects today. Those three plus a kicker, Cedric Parks. Kalispell trying to put on a show here on senior day as Roscoe Sheridan catches the screen pass and picks up nine. It's always fun for me to see who steps up on senior day. You never know what's going to happen. As Amante Jones coming across the middle makes the catch, and that's good for 16. Now the Warhawks cross the 50 for the first time. They sweep it to the right. Sheridan cuts up field, picks up seven. 
That outside zone has been a calling card of this offense this year. Another sweep to the right, Sheridan trying to get downhill quickly, and he is met behind the first down marker. Really good job by the front seven, but Kalispell says, stop it again. Fourth and inches, they got it. Bo Lee on the fullback dive gives Kalispell a new set of downs. Now Corey Miller joins the fun, split backs, battle going deep across the middle, and splitting the safeties is Ja'Cory Day, touchdown! There's another senior, Ja'Cory Day, who's been making big plays here for four years. And that's the 50th career passing touchdown for JR Battle, second place behind Marquise Walker, who had 65 in his four seasons. 7-6, Kalispell, and this is knocked away. John Charles knows he had a chance to jump that route. Third and seven, another blitz from Kalispell. Thomas Short to Hodges, and he's going nowhere. That's Glenn Hayes on the tackle, three and out. Hawaii started out pretty well, but Kalispell has that ability to change things quickly. Now it's Shakori Day. He'll make them run out across the 40 to midfield and out of bounds. 26-yard punt return. Kalispell now to end the first quarter. They will run it. Roscoe Sheridan gets a lane, runs over a defender, and falls ahead across the first down marker. I'll definitely miss Sheridan when he graduates this year. Battle back to the air, and a catch by Day again going over the middle. 18 more for the Kalispell senior. Right at the edge of the red zone now. Battle first and 10, finding Lamar Williams. Lamar has had the breakout senior season with 10 touchdowns. Warhawks inside the 15 as they hand it off again. There is Roscoe Sheridan through a lane into the end zone. Touchdown. Sheridan's 31st rushing touchdown as a Warhawk. He has well over 4,000 rushing yards as well. 14-6, Kalispell here in the second as they blitz Thomas. They've been relentless with the blitzes today and it's Alex Hardy who is unaccounted for. Warhawks playing with some real energy now in this half. Thomas wants the screen on third and long. Reddick makes the grab. He'll break one tackle but then Wesley Merrill comes in to make the hit and that drive is over. Kalispell up eight, and they are rolling right now. The sweep today is chased down from the backside, just a gain of one. Spreading out the field now with four receivers as Battle is taken down. He was blindsided. What a hit by Anthony Larson. Now it's Kalispell on the third and long, and another blitz by the Warriors as Battle escapes the rush. Fires outside, but Day's out of bounds, so... That's it for this drive. Good answer there by Hawaii. Their offense, however, has been shut down these last few possessions. The Warhawk Blitz has definitely gotten to him as Thomas stays on his feet but throws out of bounds. They're definitely making Thomas play under heavy pressure. Thomas wants another screen, but he won't get the chance. Kelly John Charles, too quick to the quarterback. He already has five tackles and is flying around the field. Warhawk football again, and wide open short. This is Roscoe Sheridan taking the catch and picking up 16 yards. Warhawks inside the 30. Now Corey Miller is the tailback as he will spin his way forward for about three. Two tight ends in the game, Reggie Jackson and Hayden John Charles. As the catch is made by John Charles, and this will go for nine. Two tight ends once again. Miller getting a few more snaps. He breaks one arm tackle and drags defenders forward. Gain of six. Kalispell very efficient in working down the field. Now Battle rolls out right. And he'll throw it to the end zone where it's intercepted. Floated it for Hayden John Charles and it's a rare red zone turnover. He gave up these underneath options because he thought he had John Charles wide open. Really good job there by the defender who kind of baited that throw. It's still just an eight point game as Reddick tries to sweep and there's Wesley Merrill again. Two and change to go in this first half with Thomas again going down in an instant. Elgin McCormick rushing from the interior. Kalispell entered this week tied for first in sacks in the Mountain West Conference. They may own first place after this game. 
Warhawks again take over, getting battle outside, and this pass is broken up, trying to find Lamar Williams. Rolling out battle is now working, so they'll keep him in the pocket on second down. Short, Sheridan spun around for a gain of around six. Clock down to a minute 18 as the Warhawks look for four yards. Good coverage and battle going down again. He's sacked by Hunter Clayton. Hawaii continues to keep this game close. And here's the replay with number three, Hunter Clayton going against Bryce Wiley. He gets around him and makes the play against the team that definitely spent a lot of time recruiting him. 14 to six, not quite to halftime as this punt is returnable and Larson gets some room. So it's a very short net for Kalispell and Hawaii has a couple timeouts to see what they can do. Just about 60 seconds left with Thomas over the middle to Hughes. Making the catch in Warhawk territory, gain of 18. One more first down would probably put them in field goal range as Daniels makes the catch on the slant for about nine. Thomas, nine of 16 in the air. He'll throw again on third down. Short for Reddick, who fights his way forward and picks up another first down. Definitely in field goal range now, but they want more. Thomas gets time, floats one for Daniels, right at the sticks, and they move again, stopping the clock. The Rainbow Warriors still have that final timeout. Thomas on first down, middle for Hughes, to the goal line, he lost it! He fumbled into the end zone, and the Warhawks have recovered! That may be the play of the half with Kelly John Charles, throwing himself at the ball carrier as it comes free, clearly before he crossed the plane. That has to be a deflating turnover for Hawaii, who had a chance to make it a one-point game right at halftime. Instead, they continue to trail Kalispell by eight. Let's get into this second half. Kalispell leads 14 to six. The first half had plenty of excitement, especially with those two red zone turnovers we saw. Kalispell looks to increase their lead to two scores at last as they open the half with possession and Ja'Cory Day again coming across the middle makes the tough reception. Three for 58. On first and 10, back to the air and quickly to Ja'Cory Day for a short gain of about five. If they're going to play off coverage, why not try that? A handoff now to Roscoe Sheridan as he muscles his way through traffic and grinds out the first down run. Call it nine. 51 yards for Roscoe Sheridan. Setting up a play action on first down. Battle outside the pocket. Buying time and going deep to Amante Jones. It's a Kalispell touchdown. A 58-yard strike from J.R. Battle. We don't normally see Jones be the downfield receiver, but a complete breakdown leaves him all alone. The Warhawks increase their lead to 21-6. We'll see how the Rainbow Warriors answer. As they get Hughes here on the sweep, they began the game with this look. This time it goes for 12. Perhaps they're just starting from scratch as they go with it again. Thomas now on the keeper, and he won't get very far. Malcolm Tyson the first there. Evans and Hampton also join in. On third and nine, another blitz from Kalispell. We've seen this a lot today. Thomas still remains composed and throws complete to Adam Daniels. He's starting to handle the pressure a lot better than he did early in the game. Thomas now gets time as he throws it up in the air. Williams nearly caught it, but Merrill there in defense. Will it be another third down blitz? Yes, it will. Thomas, though, has time and open is Lewis. That's what happens there at those zone blitzes. If they don't work, someone is pretty much guaranteed to be wide open. A fresh set of downs as Thomas Hangs out behind his extra blockers. Now throws it across the field and it's intercepted! Anthony Owens with a spinning interception. Kalispell football. Not sure exactly what Thomas thought would happen here as Owens just stuck with the one receiver that came into his area. 15 point game and Kalispell gets another takeaway. Battle rolling out here with some motion and this throw is offline. Hayden John Charles slot left as Kalispell tries to move the chains. They need the 20. And Battle hooks up with Lamar Williams for a gain of 13. Great protection up front and Battle stayed patient. 
Heading back to the air again on second and seven. Battle climbs the pocket and is immediately slammed down by Woodard. Hawaii again creates the tough third down. Warhawks need about 12. Battle under pressure. Chased right, just dumps it off to Day and they'll get about five and kick it back to Hawaii. I'll give their defense some credit for keeping it close on numerous possessions, but this offense has definitely let them down as John Charles again makes the play behind the line. Just two field goals on their first two drives of the game as Thomas finds Hodges four yards short. Again, the Rainbow Warrior offense comes up empty. Ball back to Kalispell and a quick cut from Sheridan works to the left side, gain of eight. Two receivers to the right alongside Hayden John Charles. Battle going up top. Williams deep and out of bounds. He sure had a step, but that was not a good throw. Again, Battle will throw it. A screen now. Amante Jones doesn't get very much, but Kalispell just trying to keep this clock going. The Warhawks have not been good at all on third down. Just one for seven. Now Battle intercepted. Makes it one for eight. Picked off by Holmes. This time a throw forced to Ja'Cory Day, and that is the 13th interception for Battle this season. Just a few too many in this second half of the year. His first half was a lot cleaner. But it's still Kalispell up 15 points in the third with a pass to the edge, and that's broken up. Daniels had a chance, but James Hampton must have gotten a hand on it or something. You see Hawaii trying to make these big plays that can get them back in this game, but they're just not working. Screen for Reddick. It's around one, but there's a few too many still in his way. Stuffed by Hampton. Kalispell again takes over here late in the third. It's a sweep. Sheridan breaks an arm tackle, and now into the open field. He rumbles inside the 30. Roscoe Sheridan, 65-yard touchdown. We've had the luxury of enjoying the big play from Kalispell this season. That is Sheridan's 10th run of 20 yards or more. And coming into this game, 26% of his yards came after contact. Almost every yard on that play did as well. The Warhawks are up 22, and the way this game has gone on, that is just an insurmountable lead for Hawaii. Reddick on third down makes a good catch, but John Charles protects the sticks. We'll start the fourth quarter with fourth and inches. Thomas runs the option, and he's going down! Whitmore went straight to the pitch man, and Thomas couldn't do anything. Oh, now what's this? Kalispell comes out, and the Wildcat. It's a handoff to Kelly John Charles playing some offense. He loses five. Well, that was interesting. Now back to the standard offense. Battle on third down. Finds the open Sheridan. And he takes the catch underneath all the way for a first down. Needed 16 and he picked up 18. They're going back to the Wildcat. Hand off John Charles. Now back in the pocket. And a very poor throw for Lamar Williams. They're trying something weird here with the big play. And it's not working. Now it's a jump ball for Williams on third down, broken up. And Kalispell will be forced to kick. 31 to six as this fourth quarter continues on. It has gotten a bit out of hand now for the Rainbow Warriors who played competitive in that first half. But I feel like after that fumble at the end of the half, that kind of just took all their energy out of this game. As Kalispell again forces fourth down. Kalispell gets it back. They're going Wildcat again. Now it is a keeper, and Ja'Cory Day gets to the outside. To the 40, and no one will catch him. There goes Ja'Cory Day, 67 yards to the house. His second career rushing touchdown to go with 25 receiving, two kick returns, and a punt return. And the interception that wasn't a touchdown, but was still a really cool play. 38-6. All Kalispell in this dominant effort. There's another sack for Elgin McCormick on second and 17. Thomas again under pressure, and he's brought down again by Elgin McCormick. You can give the assist to Anthony Owens as he just sent Thomas spinning forward. Three sacks on the day for Elgin McCormick. Sets up a third and 23. Thomas again in trouble. He's sacked again. 
three straight plays he's sacked by McCormick, who now ties the Brock Schultz record of four sacks in a game for Kalispell. What a game here in week 14. Warhawks on their way to victory, and it looks like the Rainbow Warriors will not be using their timeouts. Third down and four for JR Battle. He'll throw it again, or instead, tuck it and run, sliding ahead inside the 15. Okay, here's Wildcat again. They're clearly trying to do something here. It's Kelly John Charles now. He's looking to throw it. His brother's in the area, and he misses. John Charles 0 for 2 throwing and now a little shaken up, but he does appear to be all right. It's a successful Warhawk victory here in week 14, and they have won the Mountain Division in the Mountain West Conference. We saw a lot of seniors make big plays today from JR Battle to Ja'Cory Day, Roscoe Sheridan, and Kelly John Charles, and can't forget the way Elgin McCormick closed out this game. Very fun week of Kalispell football, giving them another 10-win season, but a chance to make it even more with the upcoming conference title game and eventually another bowl game. We may not have gotten the big play at the end trying to get Kelly John Charles to throw a touchdown to his brother, but he's okay, he's not injured, and Kalispell still gets a 32-point victory. Roscoe Sheridan continues to add on to his great legacy with a 140-yard performance. And these seniors are doing a great job of finishing up their time at Kalispell with some great football. So now we look ahead to the Mountain West Conference title game. It will be Kalispell and Nevada, who went 7-5 this season, winning the Western Division. We faced Nevada earlier this season and beat them pretty handedly, scoring over 40 points in the process. But we'll see what happens when these teams meet again. They've played good offense this year, but they didn't do very well in the first matchup against us. It was a 41-16 score, and it was at home, just like this game is going to be for us. The first meeting was all the way back in week five before I feel like our offense really found what they do best. And in that matchup, we saw Kalispell run the ball really well with Roscoe Sheridan, and they were exceptional on third down. Also, JR Battle had a pretty easy going day, 80% completion, three touchdowns, no interceptions. That was one of our most dominant games, but can we do it again for the conference title? Nevada did start the year pretty poorly, but played great down the stretch, winning four out of their last five games. So maybe they're a different team this time around. This is Kalispell's second attempt at winning the Mountain West Conference Championship. And if they can do that and go into bowl season 11-2, I wonder what kind of bowl game they'll be given. Here are the numbers now through the regular season with JR Battle just one away from 30 touchdowns on the year. He's already broken the Kalispell single season record and is raising it game by game. For Kalispell's receiving core, there are a number of players having great seasons and Kelly John Charles has been flying around the field making all kinds of plays these last few games. Let's finish it off here with recruiting. Now we had a bye week after the game today, so this is two weeks worth of recruiting. I have pulled out of the LaDante Ellis recruiting battle because it's too competitive. We have other players we have to give the points to. We did get two commits from players who visited in week 14, one being Antoine Knightley from Kalispell. He is 6'3", a possession receiver, probably not very explosive, but hopefully very effective in the red zone. Then Cedric Parks, a kicker who I think will play punter like Jeff Childs has with his leg not being very strong. And I found that recruiting kickers is really challenging, especially because the few that are very good are usually interested in the bigger schools. We lost out on wide receiver Marcus Copeland, who had some speed and was an underrated prospect. And then Robert Vini, a guard who I thought was very overrated but still intriguing, decided on Oregon State. Now, in the following week, recruiting now is essentially over until the offseason. So these are the players we are still trying to get commits from. We're in a good position for many of them, but there are going to be a lot of competitive battles when we get to the offseason. It'll be a real challenge to manage that all. But we did get a very surprising commit from Tommy Jordan, who's a four-star athlete from Georgia, who I think could be a receiver as a true freshman. 
He could play DB or receiver, but I believe receiver will be his best long-term position, and I could see him making a very early impact. Then we get a commit from tight end Keenan Gabbard from Missoula, Montana. I'm not sure he'll ever be dynamic enough to be a starter, but he should be adequate depth. So we do not have very many commits right now. The offseason is going to be very critical for us in recruiting. But that brings this episode to an end with the conference championship up next for Kalispell. Thank you all for watching. Please leave a like on the video. Also subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts below in the comment section on what you thought about today's game, the rest of the year, or recruiting. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day.